All right, guys, we're gonna try to bow fish today. We do some regular fishing uh, by myself today. My dad's behind the camera, but he's uh, letting me go. So stay tuned. We're gonna try to bow fish. <laughs> We'll see you. Be safe out there. Come on, fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, man. A good fish, actually. Whew. That's a nice looking fish. <laughs> that's a nice smallmouth right there. We're gonna let him go. See, dude, thank you. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, guys, looking for catfish. Looking for the catfish. Saw quite a few in here. Oh, there's some carp in here too, so we'll look for catfish and carp. Right in front of it. Look at him, look at him. Small mouth, is that a small mouth? Yep, there they are. There's three. Oh, right over him. Right there he is. Yeah, here they are. There's a ton of fish in here. There's four. I'm gonna have to go for a swim, guys. Got him. Alrighty guys, just got this while bow fishing. Big old carp. Look at that dude. Got the broadhead right through his back. Saw him swimming around in the shallows. Came up, shot him right in the back. We're gonna try to eat this guy, so stay tuned. <laughs> Maybe we'll get another fish. All right guys, we made it back to the kitchen now. I have my carp meat. This carp has been sitting in saltwater bath for three days. Then it's been sitting in a marinade for two days. The marinade recipe I'm gonna put right here. Uh, you'll see it down the side. And uh, put a, quite a bit of spices in there. And then I also have here some celery, some onions, and then some white rice. So we're gonna try to cook the carp and then put it on the bed of rice 
and hopefully that we can get this to taste edible. I've heard that this is a very muddy, disgusting fish, and it's not worth eating. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll see if, if I can make a good uh, common carp recipe. Stay tuned. Alright guys, next step is take some vegetable oil and slowly coat, coat the bottom of the tin foil and then just roll it up. And then throw in the oven to 375 and then wait until it's flaking off the bone. Pretty dang simple actually. So I'm going to show you how to make the rice to accompany the carp meat. Stay tuned. Guys, have our vegetables here. They're going in the pan. All right, guys. Now that our vegetables are thoroughly cooked, we're gonna add our rice right into there. Next step: a variety of seasonings right there. We're just gonna add these into the pan and mix it together with the dish. Next ingredient, some Asian barbecue marinade. Lastly, a packet of soy sauce. <laughs> and that's it for our rice. All right, guys, we have our piece of carp right there. Uh, we got a little plate. I'm going to try the rice, make sure that's all right. The rice is pretty decent. Uh, we have a little piece of carp meat right there. Uh, it's got very, very spongy, actually. And that tastes pretty good. And the only thing I can complain, compare that to is like shrimp or squid something along those lines, just by the consist consistency. But yeah, if you if you prepare this right, put it in a salt water bath, marinate it, it can turn out pretty good. But you gotta watch out, there's a lot of little bones in here. There's some. You pull him out. Little bones all out throughout the fish. Little, little Y bones, so. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Slay and obey my friends. I'll see you on the flip side. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I gotta